What if I asked you if giants were real, and used to, and even still do, live on this earth today? The evidence may surprise you. These are the voyages of the Stosh. <clears throat> what? No. Oh. Back to the giants. Not many people spend a lot of thought on the mention of giants in the Bible. Also known as the Nephilim, half man and half angel. What this would give you is a hybrid. What if angels were the actual beings mentioned by the Sumerians, the Anunnaki? That would mean that they were half alien, half human. A totally different race than what your dad is. And your mommy. But that is for another video. Stay with me as I explore the possibility of giants in our world. And I don't mean Shaquille O'Neal. Nearly every culture around the world has included giants in mythology and in their stories that they would pass down from generation to generation. In artwork and documents, you can find tales of giants on every continent in the world, except for Antarctica, because it's freezing there. Well, actually, maybe. There probably actually is tales from Antarctica, but probably not as many because population isn't that... God, I'm getting off track here. The most common idea of giants is that of David and Goliath, featured in the book of Samuel in the Bible. It tells of a giant of the Philistine people defeated by a normal sized man without armor, using only a sling to send a stone through the giant's head, causing the Philistines to retreat the battle. Now you would have to ask yourself, how tall was Goliath actually? In the King James Version of the Bible, it states that Goliath's height was at six cubits and a span. The Dead Sea Scrolls list his height as four cubits and a span. So broken down, his height could have been anywhere from six foot one inch to nine foot nine inches. So he may not be much more taller than the normal guy that kind of hangs around your neighborhood and intimidates people at the basketball court. Maybe not as big as what you picture in your head, like Jack and the Beanstalk, but those tales do come from something. What we're talking about is a separate species, a branch of humans that are truly gigantic. Throughout modern history, you can find newspapers from the late 1800s and early 1900s publishing stories of unearthed skeletal remains that were not your ordinary human remains. That would definitely get you to wonder if there is any truth in not only what the Bible talks about, the Nephilim, but also mentioned in the Dead Sea Scrolls, the Book of Giants, and then you have, of course, the Epic of Gilgamesh, a poem from ancient Mesopotamia. Even today, in our current world, we have reports of our military coming into contact with a giant in a cave in Afghanistan. The giant was red-haired, had two rows of teeth, and was between 12 and 15 feet tall. It is said that the beast was shot and killed by U.S. soldiers. There are several testimonials, including one from the pilot of the helicopter that was there to retrieve the body. He said the body was huge and weighed 1,100 pounds when they put it on the scale before loading it on the chopper. Is there a cover-up to hide the knowledge of these so-called Nephilim? I ask you to do your own research into this matter before placing your judgment. The place we call Earth in the galaxy that we call the Milky Way, in the universe that we call our universe. There is more complicated stuff than you can even wrap your dumb little head around. So remember to keep an open mind because when it comes down to it, the human species knows jack shit.